Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're going to calculate the work that it's going to take to pump out the water out of a full fish tank. Now, this is a very big fish tank. It's four meters long, two meters wide, and three meters high, something you would find in an aquarium. And how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is calculate how much work it's going to take to pump out a very thin layer of water and then we're going to do the next one, the next one, and sum up all the little thin layers, which is basically integration. So we know that the work to pump out water is typically equal to, or it would be the same as, I should say, pushing something up to a higher level, and that's what we're doing with the water. So it's going to be equal to the mass times acceleration due to gravity times the height. And so this is the increase in potential energy, which is equal to the work done to lift up the water. So now, since we're only going to lift up a small, thin little layer, that thin little, little, that thin little layer has mass, a small dm, a very small amount of mass. And so therefore, the amount of work done to move that small little layer to the top of the tank is going to be equal to dm times g times h. So now we have to calculate that dm. So what we're going to do first is calculate the volume of that little layer, which is equal to dv. And dv is going to be equal to the area, which is the width times the length. So it's width times length times the height, which is a very small little dy. We're going to call the positive y in a downward direction. So y equals 0 at the top and y equals 3 meters at the bottom because the height of the tank is 3 meters. So dv is going to be w times l times dy. Since the width here is 2 meters and the length is 4 meters, this would be equal to 2 times 4 times dy or 8 dy. So that's equal to the small amount of volume of that little slice, thin slice of water. So now we need to use the relationship that the density of a substance, in this case the water, is equal to the ratio of the mass divided by the volume, which means that the mass is equal to the density times the volume. And therefore, a small amount of mass is equal to the density times a small amount of volume like that. Since dv is going to be equal to 8 dy, dm is then going to be the density times dv, which is going to be the density times 8 times dy. So this is the dv, and we multiply times the density to get dm. Next, we're ready to now sum up the work done to move each of the smaller layers from the tank to the top of the tank as we're pumping out the water. So that means that the total work done, W, is equal to the sum of all the small little dw's, which is, of course, integration, from y equals 0 to y equals 3. So we need a dw, and our dw is dm, the small amount of mass, which is 8 times the density times dy, times acceleration due to gravity, times the height. Now, in this case, the height is going to be variable. It's going to be a y, because, of course, each layer will have a different y. So for our purpose, our dw is going to become dm times g times y. And so when we sum up all the dw's, this is equal to the integral of all the dw's, which is dm, and our dm is equal to 8 times the density times dy. So it's 8 times the density times dy for dm, g times y, from y equals 0 to 3. So now we can take out all the constants. 8 times the density is a constant. g is a constant. So this is equal to 8g times the density times the integral of y dy from y equals 0 to y equals 3. And now we're ready to integrate that. This is equal to 8g times the density times y squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 3. And of course, this 2 and this 8 can cancel. So we have a 1 and a 4 instead of 2 and an 8. And now when we plug in the upper limit, we'll get 3 squared, which is 9. When we plug in the lower limit, we get 0. So this becomes equal to 4 times g times the density times 3 squared. And that will be the work done to move all of the water out of the tank. So let's uh, plug in some values here. So this is equal to 4 times 9.8 times 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter times 9. And so what is that equal to? 
So four times 9.8 times 1,000 and times nine equals, whoop, didn't get that right, four times 9.8 times 1,000 and times nine equals, and we get total work done of 352,800 joules. And that's how we do that. So again, we take a small little slice, very thin, of a height dy, the area that would be the length times the width, so our d volume, the small amount of volume of that slice, is the, the length times the width times the height dy, which becomes a dy. The amount of work done can be defined as moving a small amount of mass dm, the mass in that slice, times acceleration due to gravity, times the height from the zero point to where we're at, and then if we want to sum up all the small little dw's, which is the work done from y equals zero to three, we take the dm, which is eight times the density times dy, the acceleration due to gravity, and times the height at which we move that small little layer through. And then we integrate and we get the final result. And that's how we do that.